Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you basically how I detangle my hair using flaxseed gel. So if you're interested, definitely be sure to stick around and watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any good stuff. This video is actually a continuation of a video that I made. I think it was like my chit chat video um, but the thing is that video was too long and I didn't get around to doing the detangling process as I promised so here I am I promised you guys that I was gonna do a separate video just basically showing you guys how I detangle your hair so this is basically what that video is so definitely be sure to stick around and let's let's go this is what my hair looks like mm, has not been detangled I just took down my about four weeks old three weeks four weeks um conroes so i'm just going to part it now and then you know work on on sections it's just easier that way guys like always work on your hair in sections you will thank me later seriously it makes your life so easy like stress-free who doesn't like a stress-free life so let's start with this one shall we look at the shed hair already coming off look at that can you see that guys <laughs> look at that i haven't even done anything so we're just like popping out okay so let's start with that one and i'm just gonna twist this one away out of the way and then yeah okay so we're ready to go so what you're gonna need is a whiter comb, or what I'm gonna need more like, um, <laughs> is a whiter comb, uh, and then some water in a spray bottle. Like this water has some oil in it. I had a spray in here, and I did not wash the bottle because I couldn't be bothered. So, but anyways, this will be fine. And obviously, you are going to need your flaxseed gel. Look at that, this slimy goodness. <sighs> look at that guys it looks so slimy and so good yeah so you're gonna need that okay um i will insert a video of basically how i make this in case you don't know how to but it's very simple and straightforward to do okay guys so you are going to need some flax seeds i got mine off amazon and i'm going to link it in my description box just in case you want to get yours so i used about a cup of flax seeds here i first of all put it in a bowl rinsed it with some water and then i pour the flax seed in a pan added some water pop it on the stove and allow it to boil for a few minutes now you want to boil this until the water starts to get a bit slimy that's how you know that it's ready now you can go ahead and strain it immediately using a sieve which i think is actually the best way to do it or you can allow it to cool down just like i did here and then use a wig cap or a stocking cap to strain it and then once you've done it guys you will end up with a nice jelly like you know consistency gel pretty much uh, which is so full of goodness for your hair and that's pretty much it so really nice simple and straightforward to do now you can actually add oil to this as well if you want to so i'm just going to spray my hair first with some water okay Oops. so i'm just spraying my hair here with water guys until the hair is damp like it doesn't have to be like soaking wet so just damp so that you know your gel is a bit easier to get distributed you know around the hair and also to allow easy detangling so i'm just going on here finger detangling a little bit you know some bits that i thought were slightly more tangled for my comb and then i'm going to go on now and use the gel so you can put as much gel as you want for this or as little it just really depends on you now as i'm applying this gel i will also apply it to my scalp um because it was a wash day for me anyways and this was actually really good to use as um a pre type of treatment and also just to help me kind of get rid of all of the shed hair that I had accumulated over the past few weeks um, so yeah you can go ahead and apply it to your scalp guys but obviously if you're trying to avoid build up it's definitely not, not worth applying it to your scalp because it will definitely make your hair really flaky and yeah basically not not good looking once it's dry so 
yeah i'll suggest that you don't do it if if you're not planning on washing your hair pretty much so i just applied that on it and then i'm using my wide tooth comb here just to make sure i go through my hair really gently just to get you know rid of the tangles and shed hair and all of that good stuff now always remember guys that when you're detangling your hair you want to start from your ends and then work your way through to your roots now the reason why you want to do that is so that you don't end up having more tangles and more knots so essentially if you were to just detangle directly from your roots you will create more knots and more tangles which is basically the opposite of what you're trying to achieve and um, so that will definitely lead to more breakage or perhaps you know you spending more time trying to get rid of those tangles and knots so to me i think it's just definitely not worth it now look at how defined my hair was looking there guys i was just trying to show you how this gel was really getting my curls popping knowing that my hair was all actually really dirty so this gel is actually really good this was my first time using flaxseed gel as a detangler and guys when i tell you i was literally shocked at how easy it was to detangle my hair like literally i detangled my hair within less than an hour and usually it takes me such a long time to get through um my hair but this time around it was just so easy so straightforward now this gel is definitely the, the bomb like i think it's better than aloe vera when it comes to um using it as a detangler now you guys know how much i love aloe vera and how much i love to use it um so if i actually say that this is better than aloe vera when it comes to detangling trust me it definitely is it's so much better because i don't know i don't know what it is about it like it just you know um melts the knots it melts the tangles in your hair it just makes it so much easier and so much quicker and i also felt as though i had less shedding um <clears throat> sorry i also felt as though i had less shedding in my hair this time around using flaxseed gel as opposed to you know when i use aloe vera to detangle my hair now i don't know whether this is perhaps due to i don't know something else or if it's just normal i just don't know but that's that was basically just my experience now i'll definitely suggest that you consider trying it guys and if you do try it or if you tried it before and you found that you you like it like just let me know like let me know in the comment section what you know your experience using this gel was um yeah for me i just i just thought it was just literally the best thing ever i've used lots of detanglers in the past um you know like short bought detanglers some detanglers that i made myself uh, use aloe vera but when i tell you guys like this flaxseed gel is definitely miles better than the detanglers that you buy from the shop like trust me it's so much better if you use this your hair will definitely like those those tangles those knots will definitely melt so quickly and then it will save you so much time in detangling as well well that was my experience and i just thought i would share that with you guys and also apart from you know ripping the benefits of the of basically uh, being able to detangle your hair faster and easily it also has some amazing benefits for hair growth now flaxseed is actually very high in omega-3 fatty acids and this actually helps to nourish the hair follicles it makes the hair follicles stronger and healthy um so which is actually pretty good because it just means it will stimulate hair growth and also it's rich in vitamin in uh, b vitamins which helps to reduce the dryness of the hair and also make your hair feel nice and luscious it's very soothing when you apply it onto your scalp now talking of applying it to your scalp guys i did apply it to my scalp hair um because you know it was like a wash day for me anyway so i was gonna go ahead and wash my hair anyways but i would say to you like if you're using this as a detangler um perhaps you know to leave in your hair so let's say when i was using aloe vera like if i used aloe vera for example um i don't necessarily have to go wash my hair like immediately i can sometimes detangle my hair with aloe vera and leave it in for like days or perhaps weeks and it doesn't look bad like my hair still looks all right 
but then with the with this gel with flaxseed gel if you are to do that trust me like <laughs> your hair is going to look extremely flaky um you know you can actually physically see the gel that has dried on your hair so it's definitely for me i think it's not worth leaving it in your hair because yeah it's so obvious that you've got gel on it and also when it dries it makes your hair quite dry okay so imagine um what am i even going to equate this to so if you imagine like having you know basically just gel on your hair and then it dries and it just your hair is that crunchy exactly like that's what i was looking for like your hair gets really crunchy and you can actually see the gel like laying on your hair so yeah it's definitely not good in that regard but i would say if you are you know washing if it's like a wash day and you're and you just need to detangle your hair and then leave it for a few hours and then wash then that's perfect like trust me and also after i wash this off my hair like my hair was so soft like i didn't wash it immediately because i was just busy like you know i didn't get around to doing um my wash day routine as i normally do so i kept it for perhaps a few days but you know when i tell you i had so much flakes that you could actually physically see the flakes on my hair like it wasn't looking nice at all but when i went ahead and washed it eventually my hair felt really nice and soft um the only thing that i noticed though is that i didn't get as much shine like i did uh, like perhaps I would have if I was using aloe vera that's the only thing my hair felt a bit dull I not felt sort of looked a bit dull um I don't know why that is maybe it's because I did not condition my hair but I usually when I use aloe vera on my hair and I wash it even if I don't condition my hair immediately like I can still see the shine um but I, I felt like I was missing you know shine the shine element uh in my hair after i use this but otherwise it's definitely definitely amazing i mean perhaps if i just go ahead and condition my hair just like i would normally do uh, my hair will be back to shiny again so yeah i would say it's definitely worth giving it a try guys like it's definitely good i think it's yeah i think it's, it's worth it and it's definitely the best detangler that i've used so far and yeah like i said let me know what your experience was if you've used this in the past or perhaps if you're considering using it don't forget to let me know what your experience is using this yeah for me i just thought it was just really really good my hair was so nice and detangled like from roots to the ends like without necessarily like experiencing too much breakage like i said i would not breakage sorry shedding um i will show you guys basically the shed hair that i had at the end of the video so be sure to basically just stick around and see what um amount of shed hair we had uh, in this process okay guys so at this point i had finished detangling my hair and this is what it looked like um so i really love this on my hair guys i felt i felt like my hair was a bit more stretched out as well i don't know i might just be wrong um so i'm just going in here with um some leftover of the gel i'm just putting it on my edges there putting on my scalp and then that's sort of pretty much it i'm so used to doing this every time that i use any kind of treatment or um perhaps like a detangler i'll always love to go around my edges uh because i feel like you know it needs a bit more love uh, but yeah you don't necessarily have to do this process um if you don't want to guys so i was really happy with my result like it just felt really good um so i'm just going to show you guys basically how much shed hair we had um in this process i don't think it was a lot to be honest so that's basically what i had considering my hair was what three weeks old like i had those cornrows for three to four weeks um so yeah i don't think it's bad at all so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video so do take care bye